Hello, welcome to The Eight Doors, and today we're going to talk about how to make the most of lines at Disney. A day at the Disney theme park is one of the most amazing experiences. You get to meet your favorite characters, eat some great food, and ride some amazing rides. But all of those things do have one thing in common. Lines. No matter where or when you go, you will have to wait in lines at Disney. We're here to give you some tips and tricks for making the most out of these lines. Our first tip is fast passes. Many people misuse the fast pass system. They overlook it because they believe it costs money or that they can just get in lines when there is less of a wait. But this is a huge mistake. Fast passes are free to get and can be booked 30 days prior to your visit. If you're staying on Disney property, you can book them 60 days in advance. To book fast passes, simply go to the Disney website and go to My Disney Experiences. They can also be booked through the My Disney Experience app. To use a fast pass, simply go to the kiosk at the, your respective time and use your magic band or ticket at the fast pass link. If you want to change your fast pass, simply go to the app or website to your fast passes and select a new time slot. You can only book three fast passes at a time, but once you've used your last one, you may book more. To get the most out of fast passes, we would recommend using them around 12 to 3 when the parks are the busiest. The suggested rides are as falls. For the Magic Kingdom, it's the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Peter Pan's Spy Flight, and Space Mountain. The other two mountains, though, are recommended. For Epcot, it's Frozen Ever After, Test Track, and Soarin'. You can only do one of these because of their tier system, but once you've done it and all your fast passes, you can book another one if they're still available. At Disney Hollywood Studios, we would recommend you choose one of Toy Story Mania, Slinky Dodge Dash, or Alien Saucers, since their system allows you to choose one of those, and then you can get two other ones where we would recommend Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, or Star Tours. Um, another thing to note is that if fast passes are available for th things such as Rise of the Resistance, Mickey's Runaway Railway, um, or any of the other new rides, that it's a very good idea to use them for them. But Mickey's Runaway Railway typically has the same line structure all day, so don't worry about getting to that straight away. Next, we have Animal Kingdom. We recommend choosing one of the Avatar rides, since you can only choose one, and then to choose another one for either Expedition Everest, the Kilimanjaro Safari, or the Colony River Rapids. Our second tip for lines is to stay the day. Disney cannot be done in a day, but spending your whole time at one park will get you the most out of it. If you arrive at least 30 minutes prior to opening, and start as soon as the park opens, you can easily get three rides in in the first hour, as long as you're smart about it. Also, staying to the very end when the lines are less busy is smart. If you are during these times have parades or fireworks, visit rides then, when people will be watching the shows. The lines are typically down, and if you avoid where the people are at that moment, there will be less traffic. Also, shops typically stay open after closing, so you can get your shopping done then. If you're staying on Disney property, there may be options for me extra magic hours. These may be one hour before or after the park opens. This is a great time to ride some of the busiest rides. Our third tip is that the lines really aren't that bad. Though they may seem kind of boring, the lines can be quite fun. They are very well themed, and they keep you entertained. Some rides have hidden Mickeys in line, so try finding them to help make the time fly by. Also, just talking or playing games such as I Spy can make an hour fly by. Most certainly, look for hidden Mickeys, though, and enjoy the detail they put into the cues. Our fourth and final tip here is just do it. If you really want to do a ride, do the ride. Most of them are worth it, and if you're excited for it, then don't let the wait time stop you. We would recommend that you not go in a line with over a one hour late. Unless it is the only ride you care about, then one hour can be really long, and you may be able to get two rides in in that time slot. 
utilizing your day. If you want to know the wait times, you can always check the My Disney Experience app to see times for all the rides in any particular park. That's it today for the Eight Dwarves. It's been a short one, but we just wanted to share some nice little tips and tricks for the lines. Now, I know some of these may not be applicable right now because of COVID restrictions, but it is good to look out for when things do reopen, such as fast passes. Anyway, we hope you're doing well and have a magical day.